Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Slimming World update time. How have you all been? Um, I've been okay, I've done all right. A um, few little bumps in the road, but I'm doing okay. I'm super late updating, I'm so sorry. Um, I get weighed in on a Tuesday and I aim to do my update videos like on a Saturday or a Sunday, but it's now Monday. So like, I'm back at group tomorrow, so I'm super late. So I promise to be much better. So my next update will be just um, in a few days at the weekend. So then we'll be back on track. What I've been doing when I've been doing my update, I've been kind of been talking about the week leading up to my weighing day but then by the time i film there's like another five days have gone since then so it's almost two weeks and i find it really hard to remember so i think what i'm going to do from now on i'm going to try and catch up from leading up to my weigh-in and then up until now and then just whenever i film i'll just kind of give you an update of where i'm at with my what i'm enjoying what i've been doing if i've been going out or whatever so it's a bit more timely and we can sort of just chat about things that way i think that might be easier otherwise my old brain i can't cope i'm like <laughs> i'm forgetting so much oh my goodness so firstly hello and welcome um, if you're an existing subscriber, hi. If you're a new subscriber, hi. <laughs> um, I really appreciate everyone that is subscribing to my channel. I've just seen my subscription numbers just go up so rapidly in January. And honestly, thank you so much. Lots of you are here because obviously it's a brand new year and we're all motivated to do well. But the lovely Rachel at Hay Bales last Saturday did an amazing type of video where rather than just saying the people that she likes to watch on YouTube, she got us all to do like a little mini intro of ourselves and speak about ourselves for a couple of minutes on her channel, which was just so much fun to do. And there were loads of people on there that I haven't even heard of or watched before, like with weight loss journeys. So I'm definitely going to be subscribing to those. So if you've come from the back of Rachel's video, thank you so much. I have tried to um, reply to everyone that's commented on my video saying that you've come from her channel so thank you i hope you stick around and um yeah i hope you join us i think we all kind of bring different things and sort of like relate to how we're managing our weight loss journeys we're all got different things but all on the same kind of target all wanting to get to be a healthier version of ourselves um so yeah tuesdays are my weigh-in nights i go to a slim and well group just at the next village along the road and Yes, yeah, so I started on the 4th of January, so rejoin group and joined at 13 stone, two and a half, giving you a quick rundown if you're new, so hello. I've got all my videos in the playlist down below. Um, so week one, I got weighed in, I'd lost four pounds in my first week, which was fab, taking me to 12, 12 and a half. And then Tuesday, last week on my last weigh-in, so weigh-in number two, update two, I have lost a pound. So, um which takes me to a total of five pounds off. So I'm now 12 stone, 11 and a half pounds. And I got weighed in on the 18th of January. There's my little update. I'm very transparent about my weight. It's just a number. I don't mind sharing real numbers with you. If you want to share your weight with me, that's fine. If you want to just tell me what you've lost, what you've gained, whatever, that's also okay. But you don't have to say anything. But um, I don't mind letting you know what I weigh. And I think sometimes it's helpful. Um just knowing that you know it's just a number so yeah i've got five pounds off in two weeks which i'm happy about um there's a couple of people in group who lost a pound or half a pound and they were really upset and feel like they wanted to have lost more and of course it's all personal isn't it to us or we feel like we deserve more they've been really really good um my consultant shared a great little photo on our like facebook group page and it was basically saying up until the i think it's the 30th of july which is kind of like when the school holidays are isn't it sort of in that holiday summer time when if you were to lose uh, 27 weeks to go so if you just lose a pound a week between now and then that's 27 pounds it's like one pound off two stone who wouldn't want to be two stone lighter by the summer so all these like one pound losses just add up even at half a pound a week you're still going to be a stone lighter which is like amazing isn't it obviously if you're losing two pounds a week you could be <laughs> you could be four virtually four stone lighter oh that's mad isn't it at two pounds a week i'm really happy just trying to stick on a consistent weight loss and see how i go now what was i just gonna say oh i was gonna try and remember what we were speaking about in group each week and i've decided what i'm gonna do i've just thought about it now actually 
obviously here at the side we've got a weight then there's a little bit for notes so i think what i will do i will just write down what the topic conversation was that week in group so last tuesday when we were there we were talking about socializing and kind of like eating out and um or maybe drinking out just making those healthier choices and smarter choices so it's not about depriving yourself so if you want to go to an italian restaurant or an indian restaurant or a chinese restaurant even grabbing a burger or something it's about being aware and making the best choice that you can um and like in the book which book is it is it in this one i think it's we've got a couple of books in our pack so i think it is in for example here, so like Taste of Freedom with Food Optimizing. So in here towards the back, it talks about having a drink and sort of like the swaps that you can do, like the best things that you can have, the best things that you um, should avoid. But then when it gets to the back where the sins are, um, it's got a little bit in here obviously about alcohol, but also it talks about takeaways. And let me just show you, for example. So if you think if you're having an Indian um, and that's one of the girls I'll sat next to her dad an Indian and she'd eat like probably all the worst things that you could have, but she enjoyed it. Um, where's the takeaway? Have we got, they have got takeaways in here. Also, you can see they've got a little section here telling you, but if you go to a coffee bar and sandwich bar, cakes, pastries, subways, it's got like Wagamama's, Greg's, Nando's, McDonald's. So it can let you see burger king gosh everything kentucky try and make the healthiest choice that you can make and um, maybe plan it into your day maybe have like just save your sins and then um, yeah so it's just a way of being able to like make it fit i don't know if i'm waffling so much but hopefully you kind of know what I'm, I'm trying to say so yeah there's always ways that you can improve and make it fit into your day and if you can't you know what it's one meal it is not the end of the world the main thing is just to get straight back on bang and that's it. So, um, yeah, that's all well and good. So I went out last Friday, like a week last Friday with girls from work. Just had vodka diet cokes. Really, really pleased with myself. I ate my dinner before I went, so I was full. I wasn't going to snack. I didn't get any sort of crisps or anything from the bar. And I was really proud because they'd got, like, loads of crisps and things, put them on the table. I didn't even have one crisp. So that was a really, really good weekend. I was really pleased. Now, obviously, I got a pound off, which was good. I'd been out, still got a loss. Um, now, bear in mind, this week we, we spoke about um, socialising in group. So Friday, husband says, I've booked a table at the Italian. Shall we go? I'm like, yes. I went online, had a look at the menu. I thought, good, get there. It all went out the window. Um, I love carbonara, I won't lie. Um, I absolutely love it. And so, well, I ordered the starter, but I got melon and parma ham. So I thought, well, that's not bad because it's just your melon. So that's free. And parma ham is, is not the worst thing in the world I could have had compared to, my husband had pate. So um, yeah, so I had melon and parma ham as a starter, which was all right. And I actually did order carbonara for my main. I'm so annoyed at myself i wish i'd like ordered maybe like just a steak and all like a tomato based pasta but i didn't now normally carbonara is just made like with your egg yolks isn't it it's not a, a creamy sauce this was honestly drowning in cream i was i didn't even well i ate it but i have to say it's probably one of the worst carbonaras i've ever had so i've had to use all those sins i've gone over on my sins and I didn't even really enjoy it. So I'd have far, been far better off having some fish or some steak or a tomato base, like a, a ragu. Um, but it is where it is. And had parmesan on the top. But we didn't get garlic bread. I didn't get any bread or anything with it. Um, I had a few drinks afterwards and before. But I had a glass of wine with my dinner. Why? I don't know. And I had a cocktail afterwards. <laughs> And then on Saturday, our friends came round and I had a load of vodka. Oh my goodness. I'm so cross myself. So I've just hit the camera. So I've had really um, a really sinful weekend. I've struggled to get back on plan this week. And I've had quite a few crisps and snacks. And I'm due to get weighed tomorrow. And I just think, I don't think I'm going to get a loss this week. And it's my own fault. So I think it's a really harsh lesson. I need to work out what I want, what's more important to me. And I knew I was doing the wrong thing, but um, yeah, 
I'm going to just stop labouring the point. Now, last week as well, I also said that I was going to try on something and sort of show you about um, not just looking at the numbers on the scales, but going by how you feel, what size you are, rather than what number it says on there. So I've decided I'm actually going to do a separate video about that because I want to get quite a few clothes together. I was just going to try on like my denim dress, but I've actually thought about, um, I'm going away on holiday um, in May for my birthday. So I'm going to go and pick out the clothes that I want to take on my holiday <laughs> and do a video on about the clothes I want to like fit into for my summer holiday. And we're going to try them on. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. I'm going to be bulging out here, there and everywhere. But I'm going to do that. And then hopefully by the time we get to my holiday, they're all going to fit me. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a separate video for that rather than just trying one thing on now. Um, and I've got like a couple of pairs of jeans um, and they do fit, but it, I think probably like the title of my video is going to be something like, just because it zips, <laughs> don't mean it fits. <laughs> um, literally like the zip up, but good grief, there's like a whole lot of muffin top going on and um, it ain't pretty. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get um I'm gonna try my dress, try some shorts. I think I've got a denim skirt. Um I've also got a couple of really nice vest tops, but I can get them down to here and then trying to push them down over my boobs is a challenge. Or oh, once they're on, it's one of those where you get you know get your um really, really flat boobs like that, and then um, you just oh, so tight. So yeah, and um oh do I put a cosy on? I don't know. I wanna wear a bikini on my holiday. I don't even want a cosy. Am I brave enough? to wear a bikini <laughs> on camera hmm probably not probably not I, I don't know I might I don't think I will though I really don't think I will um so yeah that's it I'm gonna be back at the weekend um what have I enjoyed eating let me just try and think of anything that I've eaten this week that I've really enjoyed um did I do my stir fry was that week one did I share that with you but I did have a stir fry which was lovely I've had Oh, I made a um, a hunter's chicken off the Slimming World um, app. So it'd be on their website. And there's a couple of different ones. And this one wasn't too barbecue. It was more spicy. And it was absolutely delicious. And I made it. I just got some potatoes and like did them in little tiny cubes and um, roasted them in the oven. So they're a bit like chips. Not quite chips, not quite a roast potato. Somewhere in between. And then, um, but yeah, the little tiny cubes, it made the potato go so far and I had it with some salad. That was delicious. It was so tasty. My husband loved it. I'll pop a picture of that in here. Um, and I might actually, if there's something like that that you want to see, um, if you want me to do any recipes and cook-alongs, I'm happy to do that. There's the um, magazine. Have I got this? Where's my magazine? I've got this. I'm just sorry for spinning round. I have got the Slimming World magazine. Um, have I got it down here? I can't see it but in there there is a like a it's almost like a it's like a beef bourguignon cottage pie type thing so it's almost like like steaky stew with like the mash on the top in the magazine that looked really nice so if you want to see me doing that or if there's anything in this month's magazine that you want me to make let me know down below I might start doing a poll you can choose what you want me to make but um yeah that's going to be it. I'm going to be back, as I say, with this try on video. And um, fingers crossed for a good week ahead. I'm not feeling hopeful for tomorrow, but I'm going to have to just take it on the chin and use it as a lesson learned. And um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm on very disappointed in myself. But do you know what? I had a nice night out with my husband. And and that's good, isn't it? That's, that's you know, we've still got to live our lives, but we need to just do it a bit more. So I'm not going to be able to do that and lose weight so yeah let me know how you've got on i've loved hearing your um, weight loss stories in the comments as well so yeah please keep in touch and i will see you all at the weekend have a great week bye guys bye